Hello there, kia ora. You may recall last weekend I ended up in Tauranga after being invited by the It's in the Ballot team to be their question host for the mural debate they had. I suspect it was a thank you for restreaming their shows across my platforms, but I was grateful to be there. My uncle had actually just passed away a couple of days beforehand in Waihe and it gave me a chance to spend some time with family while I was there. Before I left Auckland though, I did a video looking at candidates who seemed susceptible to disinformation. Of the 77 people running, I found four. And the responses to that video, wow. I mean, if you're studying communication, then you'll find textbook examples of gish galloping and sea lioning with some confirmation bias and cognitive dissonance thrown in for good measure. But those were not the most surprising responses. You see, while I and the vast majority of scientists and medical professionals may not necessarily agree with some of the things some of those candidates are saying, I can't deny that most candidates are running because they're passionate about their community in some way. But that video garnered the most direct reach outs of any video I have ever done because of one candidate. The messages and calls describe them as evil, manipulative, a user, toxic. One person who reached out and then refused to talk in a follow-up interview described her time with them is like living through hell. This candidate has left a trail of unpaid commercial rents spanning decades, estranged their entire family, been known to stalk people who slight her and cause havoc in their lives, and even apparently lied about several medical issues. They've compared trans people to castrated dogs, and their former staff suspect that they may have claimed more than they were entitled to in business wage subsidies and loans from the government that they directly protested in the illegal Wellington occupation. And so so much more. Friends, family and former business associates actually asked me to do a follow-up, so I have, in this week's newsletter. There you'll find a candidate who is so concerning that other candidates actually refuse to discuss them out of concern of the repercussions that they might have to face. You can learn more about what Susie Edmonds has been up to by following the link in my bio to this week's newsletter. And Tauranga, as your voting forms come out this weekend, Please, please remember to do your research before you vote.